welcome back to my channel i hope you all are doing really well happy winters to you all so today i am going to give you an outline of the novel the house of mirth which is written by edith wharton let's begin the house of mirth was published in 1905 when edith wharton was 43 edith newbold jones born on 24th january 1862 uh she had done a uh, very little fiction writing up to that point but had some practice with volumes of short stories and an historical romantic chronicle called the valley of decision Wharton drew upon her insider's knowledge of the upper class New York aristocracy to realistically portray the lives and morals of the gilded age. New York class society a subject she had a great deal of experience with. She wrote in a backward glance, quoting, "There it was before me in all its flatness and futility asking to be dealt with as the theme most available to my hand since I had been steeped in it from infancy." Wharton's achievement was not so much the study of high society as her ability to turn the society's debasement of people and values in a work of dramatic significance. In 1921 she became the first woman to win the Pulitzer Prize in literature for her novel The Age of Innocence. The House of Mirth is a story of Lily Bart who turned out to be the perfect heroine for this type of novel. a weak character she is able to be intrigued by the society and attracted to it however she also has intuition and charm in abundance allowing her to manipulate people within the world she has chosen to emul emulate as such she is one of wharton's most memorable characters her ability to live beyond her means is coupled with her sense of moral extravagance She is not able to afford to compete with wealthy married women of that society and as such she succumbs to the fate of an outcast namely death. The historical context of the novel is important to understand um the uses of wealth at the time. In a period of high immigration there were uh, plenty of servants for many houses located in New York City. Uh, the use of a yacht a uh, motor car meant pleasure trips were now available anywhere in the world as can be seen when lily passed from one boat to another the families presented in the novel can be compared to known families of that time of new york for example the van osboros family who were considered to be the richest and the best family suggesting suggesting the aristocratic society of that times in wharton stay um throughout the society uh, there is a sense of um, old wealth giving way to the new wealth and the rise of uh, rosedale family and the fall of the families of barts is an example of it wharton sees this emergence and absorption of new wealth quite clearly and with some resentment using people such as jack stephanie and carry fisher the rosedales and the wellington briars are able to slide their way into social matrix that comprises newport the novel is unique because wharton is not merely a uh, uh, pretending to know about her society she really has been a part of it The novel is a novel of manners, one of the first to emerge in Amer American literature. Um, Lily's slide down to the of the social ladder, in which each uh, range is a mere imitation of one above it, has been compared to the determinist fiction of Flaubert and Zola. Here, I want want you all to go through the novel because. Um, a uh, mere a mere summary will not help you all because i really want you all to read this novel it's a very good novel and uh, get to know more about the characters in, into it uh, this was the fine outline of the novel i hope it will help you all
Thank you so much for watching. Please do like, share, and comment on my uh, video. And please, 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 please subscribe on my video. Thank you so much.